welcome to the TagBat Photo Working with MS Photo Gallery Tutorial. The purpose of this tutorial is to show how easy it is to bring photos tagged in MS Photo Gallery into TagBat Photo. Let's get started. We'll use four test photos, each with people tags plus a keyword tag. Here are the options in MS Photo Gallery to ensure that your tags are written into the images themselves. Microsoft had the earliest face tagging XMP specification. You'll see these are labeled as MP when viewing the photo's metadata. Tag that photo supports the MP format. we like to use to show image metadata is an application called XNViewMP. This handy tool shows image metadata before and after scanning with Tag That Photo. Using XNViewMP, we can see the MS Photo Gallery XMP tags for the photo. This includes the MP face tags. We'll go to Tag That Photo now and import the image folder. There is an option to specify file types and rules if needed. For the purpose of this video, we'll stick with the default settings. After specifying the folder, the application begins scanning the photos within the folder to detect faces which will then appear under People, Suggested, or the Unknown tabs. Please note, it can take a few seconds for Tag That Photo to start scanning. To check scanning activity, look to the lower right side of the status bar. As photos are scanned, people or face thumbnails start to populate in Tag That Photo. A quick look around shows that all tags came across from MS Photo Gallery. As you can see, Tag That Photo will preserve your photo gallery tagging efforts. As importantly, it also writes your tags into the new Metadata Working Group or MWG format. This ensures future compatibility with many photo management applications such as Adobe Lightroom and others. We hope you found this tutorial helpful as you start using Tag That Photo to organize your image library. Please be sure to check our website www.tagthatphoto.com for more tutorials and information to help you get started.